everybody, this is Marjorie. <laughs> Look at me today on my animal print. It reminds me of my pal Maureen. You know my pal Maureen Fillards? She loves a bit of animal print. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look like her. Oh, she'll be dead jealous. She'll be wearing this top. She'll be wanting me. She'll be texting me when she saw this episode and she said, "Can I get that top, Marjorie?" Now, I mean, many a time I've been out with, with Maureen and she's in her animal print. Now, <laughs> you've heard Atomic Kitten. Well, she's made Atomic Mutton, but oh, she loves her animal print. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? She and by the way, link down below. Now, I was going to tell you today. I was out walking, right? I was out, you know, I was babysitting wee Pansy Potter because, well, Kylie Marie Antoinette, my hairdresser, well, she's up to her eyes and nappies and bottles and my lupa and poo. So I says, I'll take wee Pansy Potter out because, oh, she's hysterical, the wee lassie, oh, she, and she loves me. She loves her Auntie Marjorie. So I says, do you want to go to the railway bridge? Do you want to go to the railway bridge, Pansy Potter, and see all the trains? And she's going, train, 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 train. I says, I come down here. <laughs> Oh, she was as happy as an elephant eating a raspberry muffin. So, we walks up to the bridge and we're looking at the trains and the, you know, some of the trains go slow and some of them go whoosh and she's getting all excited. Oh, she was having a great time. And then she sees, well, we see this motor, right? There was a motor stopped in the car park and I see this big vision, big, big dark vision walking up towards us and we pansy poor, but she was starting to get really excited and she's going, train, 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 train. I went, no, calm down, hen. It's no a train. It's fat boy, two doors down. So he's walking up towards us and I'm like, oh, see him? He's like a bad smell that, you know, that just follows you. I mean, literally a bad smell because I've told you before, his bouff and his hoose is absolutely manky. So anyway, he comes up and of course, wee Pansy Potter, she's still going, train, train, train. I went, no train, train. No, no wee Pansy Potter. It's no a train. I mean, she thought he was a locomotion. And I says, no, it's no a train, hen. So, he comes up and he's saying, hello, darling, what are you doing today, darling? And I says, Pansy Potter and I are train spotting. And he went, oh. And I tell him the story because we were on the train, right? <laughs> we Pansy Potter and we were on the train one day to Glasgow. <laughs> and so this woman, right, this woman went to the toilet. Well, it was one of these automatic doors. So she presses the button and she goes into the toilet. And the, the door shuts. You know the big oval door with wee Pansy Potter? She was sitting there in her wee buggy. She was fascinated. Because, I mean, I suppose to a wee person that would look like a bit, bit like a TARDIS, you know, like Doctor Who. Well, this man starts walking towards the toilet door. Now, I was going to say to him, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, son, but there's somebody in that toilet. But I was that busy having a wee laugh with Pansy Potter. Well, he presses the button. Does the door no open? Here's this woman sitting in the lobby pan like that. <laughs> well, we Pansy Potter and me, we were howling. <laughs> we were howling. We, we both actually wet ourselves. So that was a wee bit embarrassing because, I mean, she was about one at the time. I mean, a one-year-old can get away with peeing herself, but, you know, I'm a... Well, I was not one. I'm not telling you what age I was, but I was not one. Anyway, we laughed that much. We wet ourselves. Oh, what an embarrassment. <laughs> and then Fat Boy says, Oh, I... I remember you told me that story, darling. I says, I will. An elephant never forgets. He says, you've got a good memory, darling, haven't you? I says, listen, I never forget a face. In your case, I would I would try my best, but, well, his face is one that's very hard to forget. Well, it's that big, isn't it? Everything about him that's big. You know, no, no wee. Big. So, he says to me, have you heard about Arthur from Montreux Street, darling? And I says, no, what happened? He was out walking his dog, darling, and he dropped down deed. I went, oh my God, did the dog get him all right? Because, I mean, he's got a lovely wee dog. So, I mean, it's just, I mean, what's, what is the world coming to you? You're out walking your dog and you drop down deed. You try to do something healthy. You try to do something good. You try to go and get some fresh air and you drop down deed. He should have stayed in the house and ate a Toblerone and just let the duck wander about the back and, you know, run the clay's pole. But there you have it. There you have it. So I says, where are you going anyway? He says, I'm going to the school, darling, to pick up my granddaughter because she has a free period. And I went, a free period? Oh, are they, are they free now? What, we were supposed to pay for them? I says, oh, things have changed for my day, you know, everything. What a world, what a world we live in, you know. Anyway, so he says, I am going to pick up my granddaughter. And I says, 
Look at the state of you. Look at the absolute state of you. Did you look in the mirror before you come out? You, I mean, you look like an absolute down and out. And he says, oh, I'm just going to pick up my granddaughter, darling. I don't even need to get out of the car. I says, what have you break down? And you're standing in the road and folk are going by you in the bus. And you're standing there waiting for the AA man. You're an absolute disgrace. You look like a like a manky mank. Um, and his face was trapping him and says, I will think on the truth hurts, doesn't it? Not as much as jumping on a bicycle with the seat missing, but it hurts all the same. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>